Hi guys, how are you today? I hope you guys are having a great week so far. And it is pick a card time. So today's pick a card is what makes your person thirst for you. So this will be an 18 plus reading today, okay? I am gonna get a little spicy. So um, only adults. Okay, so I just want to show you what I have here in the four piles. The first pile here is being represented by neck grasp. Second pile is bite marks. Third pile is vampire sex. And the fourth pile is lip bits. Okay, I will be using this absolutely amazing deck that's been out for a while that I have never seen before. The Tarot of vampires to do this vampire themed love reading okay so i just want to let you guys know that this reading is general so just take what resonates leave the rest of course i may be picking up on your energy because i am picking up on the highest collective energy okay so if that happens i'm sorry you can either listen to the pile because there might be a message there for you or i invite you to look at another pile i will never shy away for actually telling you that there are some beautiful talents on youtube i really am very very um supportive of all the communities out here and the whole entire everyone as a whole so there is just a lot a lot of awesome readers out there if for some reason this reading or the other readings on my channel don't jive with you okay so I do apologize if you're hearing noises in the background. Again, there is a guy that is working on his house. So every time I record, for some reason, that's when the noise starts happening. It's just, it's meant to be that way. So I do apologize for that, guys. But this is the time that I have to record. And there's no way for me to black that out. Okay, so yes i am excited to do this reading i'm still doing my raffle this week guys i'm going to be raffling off two things okay all you have to do is just comment and subscribe down below okay and because this is a vampire um this is going to be a vampire reading i will be offering a special personal reading that will accompany this if you would want to order that and it's called what does your person crave about you and this is a deep desire reading okay so i'm going to offer that down below if you are interested okay as a nice little accompaniment to this reading so we have four piles neck grasp bite marks vampire sex and lip bits pick your pile and let's get started hi guys so if you chose the first pile which is called the neck grasp ooh, okay so this is going to be mighty mighty intriguing today in this vampire themed reading now remember guys this is 18 plus today so i just want you to be completely completely aware about that okay so before I begin, if you could just close your eyes and picture yourself surrounded by beautiful, warm, white light. And the reason why I ask of this is so that way I can pick up on the highest vibrational energy between you and your person that we're going to be asking about today, okay? Okay, so when you're finished doing that, we're gonna get started on this reading. Okay, so these cute little hearts here that I'm using, these are from Wing and Bell. I absolutely think they're the most adorable things, so I figured why not use them for the rating. And because this one here is silver, I figured I would do it that way, and that one's the black, I figured I would do it that way, right? Just add a little cuteness to the table. All right, guys, so let's get started for this reading. I'm so excited to get onto this reading. So, what makes your person thirst for you? Let's find out. Spirit, what makes Pile One's person thirst for them? What makes them really, oh, really, really think about you? Ooh, here we have the Six of Skulls. Now, the Six of Skulls here is represented by the Six of Pentacles, 
What makes them incredibly thirst for you is the fact that they just think that you are so giving. You have such a wonderful soul. You are that person that is the ultimate giver. So whether you're a giver out in public, whether you're a giver behind closed doors, mm -hmm, you simply know how to reciprocate that energy and they love the little things that you do for them they like the little maybe the little innuendos they might appreciate just how you are caring how you just maybe ask them how their day is and how you just are little sweet innocent and you can also be little mr innocent but what really makes them thirst for you is the fact that you are such an ultimate giver behind closed doors guys you really know how to give your person the ultimate experience okay you are not shy in just reciprocating that beautiful beautiful loving energy to them and they are really 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 into it okay they thirst for it i feel like your person finds you incredibly attractive incredibly sexy there's just something so exciting about you that they just can't get their mind off of you i feel that they thirst for you all the time okay even in the middle of the night when they wake up i feel like you are on their mind they just literally think about you and that scrumptious self of yours 24 7 7 days a week it is overwhelming for this person the amount of intensity that they feel this energy on okay i do feel here as well that even when the two of you first met they always seem to find something incredibly sexy about you i think you might be a person that could wear some really sexy lingerie and it just throws them absolutely crazy if you're a woman you wear very very nice perfume you may have a beautiful scent, and when they kiss your neck they are very very enticed okay that's why you chose this card, the neck grass, because they just are instinctively drawn to you. They want to kiss you. They want to hug you. They want to hold you. And let me tell you, they are so thirsty for you and they have been so incredibly loyal. Okay. The way they thirst for you is absolutely beyond. And what I mean beyond, it's like, they will pretty much deny anyone else because what they have with you goes above and beyond what they've ever really had with anyone else before, especially in the bedroom, so to speak. Okay, so let's see what else makes your person thirst for you. Mm -hmm. Let's see what else. Okay, so here we have the Four of Grails, which in this deck means the Four of Cups. What makes them thirst for you is the fact that you give them such a challenge. I feel they advance all the time onto you and you're just like, yeah, maybe later. Okay, this person knows how much they want them and I feel that you deny them from time to time you just act very aloof very um just like mm, not today and because that you do that it drives them absolutely wild it makes them hunger for you even more it makes them thirst for you even more they go absolutely insane okay and the fact that you know how to kind of you know play not in a bad way but you know how to play in a good and basically fun way is what really entices this person okay it what really it's what really makes them want to just go out and have you okay and the fact that you are not readily available to them all the time the fact that you play a little hard to get is what really really turns them on okay you are very very spicy but you're also very sweet and you know how to how to 
get your man or your woman to be very, very excited in your presence. I feel you're vulnerable, but then you also know how to put that boundary up. Okay. You never let yourself go too far. So that way you don't feel like you're going to fall into the abyss. That's not what you're doing. What you're doing here is you're setting a beautiful, healthy boundary with your person. That's like, yeah, some days you can have me, but then the other days it's like, no. And that's what makes them go crazy for you. Crazy. Let's see what else. I'm sorry about the glare, my loves. Okay, let's see what else makes their person thirst for them. Okay, here we have another card. The Nine of Skulls. What does this say, my dear friends? What this says is that you are incredibly independent and your independence, again, makes them wild. Why? Because you're not needy. You're not a person that needs to be codependent and always has to be on top of your person. That is not you. You have your own life. You are doing your own adventure. You have your own friends. You have your own thing. And this is why your person is so incredibly attractive for, to you. This is why they thirst for you like they do because of the fact that you are your own individual person. You know to how to have a very healthy relationship. And they absolutely love this with you. They love the fact that you are just that person that is like, if I don't hear from my boo for a few days, I'm not going to stress out because I know what I'm worth. And that's what makes them really, really get turned on in regards to to you, the fact that you are very self-confident, the fact that you are super independent, and the fact that you don't need them. You want them. There's a difference. You don't need your person. You simply want them, okay? And they love that also about you. I feel like their last person was probably a person that was very, very codependent, very, very needy, and it drove them absolutely crazy. It drove them crazy. And here you come, okay? And you just have this very secure, happy sense of self, happy friend lives. You know, you're doing your own thing. You're very, very good as far as a person. You are happy with on your path. You are successful. You are doing you. And what you bring to this table is a sense of normalcy and also is a sense of excitement because you just are not going to succumb to your partner's advances 24 seven. You are just not that person that's going to be like, yeah, I'm going to hang out with you all the time. That's not you. You are out living your life to the fullest and that in itself makes them absolutely crazy in regards to you. Let's see what else. What else makes them thirst for you? Okay, I have two cards that came out here. Death and the Hanged Man. So what makes your person incredibly, incredibly um, thirsty in regards to you with the death card? You're constantly changing. You're not staying still. You are a person that is evolving, okay? You are just not sitting home and just okay with things don't, if things don't work out. You go out and you make moves, okay? Within your own life. And they absolutely, again, love that about you. And then also here with the hanged man, this tells me another thing that makes your person incredibly thirsty about you is that you are a very grounded, you are a very spiritual person, and I feel that you teach your person a thing or two. Mm -hmm. I feel like behind closed doors, you really, really know how to get your person going, okay? And you have a very mature sense of self. Even if you're only 25, you have a very mature sense of self that your person finds very, 
very attractive, okay? Your person is extremely turned on by your energy, by your confidence, and the way that you exude yourself and you just walk into a room and you don't need anyone. You just need happiness. That's all you need and that's all you want, okay? Let's see what else. What else makes your person thirst for you? The Lord of Knives. And I think what makes your person so thirsty after you is the fact that you think clearly, you speak your mind, you are very transparent, you know what you want, and especially when you're in the bedroom, you know how to direct your person and get them to do whatever it is you want. You are so confident, you're so self-assured, you are an excellent speaker. Okay, you're not going to be like one of those people that just sit in the corner and just hope that your partner figures out what you want. You're going to tell them and be like, listen, I want you to do this. And they're going to be like, oh my God, really? Yes, that's the kind of person that you are. And that is the beautiful, hot, sensual energy that you are giving out. Okay, so... Let's take a couple more cards here from this really hot deck called Between the Sheets. I Again, I apologize if you're hearing some noise. Every time I record, this guy is working on his house, having his lawn mowed, and I'm really, really sorry about that, but I can't, there's no way I can shut it off. All my windows are closed, so um, I, I have to record with this noise. So if it's annoying to you, I do very much apologize okay so let's keep going what else drives your person absolutely crazy what makes them thirst for you spirit give me a sensual energy between these two let's see what makes them thirst for you play back your love is like a song track Ooh, very very nice so you two, again, have a really good connection going on here. I feel like this is so healthy on a lot of different levels. It's healthy on the physical, for sure. It's healthy on the mental. It's very mentally stimulating. It's definitely health, uh, healthy on the spiritual. I do feel there is a spiritual connection here. And it's also very, very healthy in the... Um, mental, physical, and the emotional, okay? I feel in a lot of different ways the two of you are completing, okay, each other, okay? And play back your love is like a song track, means that I do feel that your person, when they hear certain songs, they get so reminded of you, they get reminded of your essence, the two of you might actually have, you know, some sexy time listening to music you might be listening to some really cool tunes while the two of you get things going and i think whenever your person hears this they start blushing and they're like "Ooh, okay they start thinking about all those hot moments that the two of you have and let me tell you i definitely feel that there is a lot of hot moments in pile one guys i think the two of you really know how to get it on in a very 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 deep way Okay, so this is what drives your person absolutely crazy. What makes them thirst for you is the fact that you are very, very giving in and out of the bedroom. You are a super independent person. You know what the hell you want. You are very transparent. You speak your mind. You are very spiritual. I do feel you teach them a few things. And you know what? You don't sit down. You get the job done. If there is something that doesn't work for you, you go out and you make changes and your person finds you just incredibly, incredibly sexy and just thinks you are an absolute force to be reckoned with, okay? So that is what makes your person thirst for you. So if this reading resonated with you, please comment down below, like, share, and subscribe. If you would like a personal reading, the information will be down below. Don't forget, guys, to hit the notification bell so you can be notified of when I go live and when I upload. 
raffle all you have to do guys i do a raffle every single week now subscribe to the channel comment down below i pick out two lucky winners at the end of next week and if you would like your own personal reading in regards to this kind of energy of what does your person crave about you and this will be a deep desire reading okay that information will also be in the description box as well i hope you guys have an absolutely beautiful day stay safe okay share the love and just have the best rocking week ever bye hi guys so if you picked pile two which is called bite marks ooh, what makes your person thirst for you 18 plus guys okay before i begin if you can close your eyes and picture yourself surrounded by beautiful warm white light and this beautiful warm white light will just help protect your energy and it also makes sure that i get the energy from the divine because i only want to tap into the highest vibrational energy between you and your person okay so if you don't mind you do that okay <laughs> all right guys so let's get started on this reading what makes your person thirst for you let's find out okay bite marks hmm what is going on here it sounds very intriguing what makes your person thirst for you oh the prince of skulls okay so what makes your person thirst for you is the fact that you are just incredibly loyal you are loyal you are dedicated you are responsible you know how to get things done you might be a person that is very schooled you might have a beautiful career going for you i feel like you've got your shit together and that's what this person finds incredibly incredibly attractive okay um the fact that you just know what you're doing you know how to get it you've gone after things in life even if that means you are just starting out, they see an ambition in you. They see a want, a need, a desire to really, really get things going in regards to your life, okay? Prince of Skulls is the Knight of Pentacles. So you could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You don't have to be, but they might be. But regardless, they find you to be just that sexy person that has it all together. And I feel that if you own your own place, your person is intuitively telling me your place is off the charts. You take very, very good care of your place and you might be a fan of light of a lot of light colors. Okay, I don't know why I'm getting that, but a lot of light colors. So your place is on point. All right, let's see what else your person finds. Incredibly, incredibly sexy. What makes them thirst for you for pile two? Let's see what else. Okay. So here we have the Daughter of Knives, which is the Page of Swords. The fact that you are just very sharp, you're very analytical, and you know what to say and how to say it. I look at this card and I see this girl being a little goth. And I feel that maybe you're a goth kind of person. If you're a guy or a girl, you might be a goth chick. And I feel this person thinks that is incredibly sexy and super attractive. You might wear that dark eyeshadow around your eyes. And you might also have a beautiful um, contrast. Meaning you might have some beautiful gold um eyeshadow and like maybe blue or green eyes or like a dark dark eyeshadow and a very very light piercing eye it doesn't have to be a light eye but there's something about your eyes that your person finds absolutely stunning and absolutely um crazy okay they just are very very into them they look at your eyes and they feel like they're looking at the window to your soul okay but with the page of swords which is here the daughter of knives there's a very keen interest in the way that you approach the world okay i feel like you're a great communicator you're not shy telling your person what you want in and out of the bedroom and you really just kind of know how to have a little tete-on-tete -tete with them okay 
and they really, really admire that. Not only do they find you to be incredibly sexy, but they find you to be very quick witted and also very, very intelligent. And they, I'm also hearing them say that you have a thing for words. So the way that you use your words really turns them on. Really, really turns them on. So let's see what else. What makes your person thirst for you? That's too many cards. Three of skulls. Again, we have three of pentacles. So what makes your person thirst for you? Again, is that you are a team player. I feel like you're a person that is extremely creative, a go-getter by all means. You work very well with other people. You probably have a great group of friends. You probably are very well liked at work and you just literally seriously have a great outlook on life. And what they really like about you too with the three of skulls is I feel like behind closed doors, the intimacy that you guys share is very very creative i feel like between the two of you you really do have a quite an interesting bond on the intimacy that you two share you guys know how to be quite creative okay you might be coming up with a lot of different ideas in the bedroom you might be basically telling them let's play games that's where the page of swords comes in okay and they just really like this crazy kind of structured, intelligent, grounded person that you are. It just totally turns them on and just makes them wild for you, okay? Plus here too, with the way this woman looks, I just feel that again, you might be a person that just likes to dress a little unique. You might wear tight-fitted clothes if you're a female. You might also be prone to wearing some cool-looking jewelry as okay, that your person really admires. And you might have red hair. Your person might have a thing for redheads and just think that they're ultimately very 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 attractive but regardless this person is super beyond sexy after you they really really thirst for you okay because you have the sex appeal and you also have the brains and they find that to be a very very rare combination okay i'm sorry about the glare here guys there's so much glare from my windows. So not only are you super, super sensual, but you're incredibly, incredibly smart. And they are so drawn to this energy of yours. Let's see what else do they find. Incredibly sexy. What makes him thirst after you? Oh, the three of grails. Now this is the three of cups. So what makes them really, really thirst after you is the fact that I'm going to tell you right now, your person has a fantasy about having mm, fun time with you and another. Okay. There's something about your person. Now this will not apply to everyone, but there's something about your person that they totally, totally get off thinking about you actually having some sort of sexual threesome okay with another person and them they just fantasize about it they desire it they want it they dream about it they truly truly just really crave that from you the two of you like i said again this won't apply to everyone have a very full and a very very um, sensual sex life. I just feel that the two of you might not be afraid to use toys. The two of you might not be afraid to go in various different um, positions. I feel you might be a play dress up from time to time. Okay. And that's what just really drives this person wild. I do feel this person really does fantasize having uh, relations with you and another person. It drives them absolutely crazy and it makes them go mad. Okay. Okay, because you in itself, you on yourself, you are such a hot person to them. You have such a strong sex appeal. And I feel that with you, you are just like, wow, with another person, it would be absolutely off the charts. Okay, this person fantasizes about you all the time and all these different kind of 
sexual um, scenarios here, okay? You have a very, very highly sexual person here, guys, okay? Now, remember, if you're going to tell me that you haven't been with this person, this is an 18 plus reading. So if you really are not into or not wanting to have any kind of relations before, you know, serious commitment, you might be committed to this person, then this really is not the reading for you. This is a reading for people who are already in a connection where they're having some sort of a sex, like some sort of sexual intimacy. Okay. This reading is not going to resonate for people who are just having a, you know, a chit chat or you're just like starting out and this is not that kind of reading. This is for people who are in a sexual relationship, a connection, a relationship, a marriage. Okay. So yes, this person has some deep, deep, deep sexual fantasies when it comes to you, you being with other people, them watching. It just is absolutely insane for pile too, okay? And that's where the bite marks comes into play. Your person wants to kind of mark you, okay? They really do want to get a little crazy in the bedroom. And this is insanity because the pile first, pile one was very kind of toned down, but this is a very, very, very strong sexual energy that I am feeling for you in this pile in regards to this person. You drive them absolutely nuts okay you drive them nuts here we go now we have the page of pentacles so what another thing is that what makes them so incredibly thirsty for you is the fact that they think that you are an amazing amazing dresser i think you have a way with the way you put your clothes on i do feel you must wear sexy sexy lingerie you might be drawn to either red or black lingerie they find that so freaking hot guys like unbelievable another thing that they find incredibly sexy about you and what makes them thirst for you is the fact that you are giving Okay, you are not only smart, you're not only sensual, but you are giving, you are nice, you are offering all the energy that they're giving to you back to them. And they love the fact that you are so far with it when it comes to them. Like you are so in the game with them. You are so like, yeah, let's get this done. You are down for their fun. You are down for their love. You are down just to be an awesome person. I feel like the two of you make a great team. I feel like the energy between the both of you is just beyond off the charts. And you know what? I think when people see the both of you as well, well, they just picture the both of you being just like an awesome couple. They could see how the two of you love each other because there's so much freaking energy here between the both of you in a very, very sensual way that it's hard for people not to notice the attraction between the both of you. It's very hard. Okay, I feel like it's so blatantly obvious how much the two of you really, really, really want each other. And let's see what else. And then we have the nine of skulls, which again is the nine of pentacles. So another thing that this person finds incredibly sexy and what makes them thirst for you is that, honey, you are a very independent person. So whether you're a man, whether you're a woman, you have your shit together, you do your own thing, you're out with your friends, you have your own passions, you are not needy, you are not desperate, you are not anything, okay? You go out, you enjoy your life, and the way you live your life is like, hey, you know what? If you want me, that's cool, but if you don't, I'm fine with it also. You are beating to your own drum. You are taking care of yourself and you are loving your life. And that is so incredibly sexy to this person, how you are self-confident, how you have a strong will, how you just take care of yourself in such a great way. You by no means need the help of anyone else. Being in a relationship with you is just an added bonus. You want to take care of everything for yourself. I do see a lot of heavy earth energy here. So one of you really might be a Taurus Virgo Capricorn, 
But regardless, I do feel that the both of you are desiring one another, wanting, craving, needing to be in each other's presence, okay? And this person loves the fact that sometimes you can't see them because you're just too busy living your life. And they really are just so incredibly attracted to that. And that makes them super thirsty. Okay, so let's take a look at some other cards here and just grab a few more messages. I'm sorry about the glare. I have a window behind me in the living room. And unfortunately, even with the blinds down, the light still gets through. Okay, so now I want to pull a card from between the sheets. Let's see what else, what else gets them thirsty for you? Let's see what else. Now, these messages are going to be a little bit more descriptive, okay? Oh, oh, we have two of them. Play back your love like a song track. So I do feel that the two of you probably are have the same taste in music you might go for car drives you might travel listening to the same music you might travel and go to concerts together you guys might have insane incredible sex listening to music and it's just honestly your person whenever they hear a song that reminds them of you it makes them just smile because your energy is all that to them seriously they're into it and then we also have here play with it a little I feel, guys, you like to tease. And that's another thing that makes them really thirsty for you is the fact that you tease them a lot, okay? You get them absolutely wild. You drive them crazy in and out of the bedroom, okay? You know what you're doing, but what I love about your energy is that at all times you keep yourself grounded and you keep yourself classy, Okay, you know how to intrigue this person without even doing anything. It's your intelligence your and your absolute independence that really gets this person so turned on when, it's, when they think about you, to be quite honest. That intelligence of yours and how you handle your life and your business just is, gets them every time. But what really gets them is just the fact that you just know how to tease them. You're all brains and then all craziness behind closed doors. And they absolutely love that about you. And that is what makes them thirst for you. Okay, so if that resonated with you, please comment down below, like, share, and subscribe. If you'd like a personal reading, the information will be in the description box below. Don't forget guys to hit the notification bell so you could be notified of when I go live and when I upload. Don't forget raffle. All you have to do is just subscribe to the channel. Comment down below. Okay, I pick out two winners this week. I will pick them out the week, at the end of next week. So just bear in mind what week you're watching this reading, okay? If it's out of the week that I uploaded this, it won't apply to you. And also, I am offering a personal reading that's an extension of this beautiful energy and it's called, What Does Your Person Crave About You? Deep Desires. Okay, so that information will be in the description box too if you want to try that out, okay? That's not offered in my personal readings, but I felt like doing something a little different to go along with this video. Okay, guys, stay safe, be well, okay? Be at peace with one another out there, guys, okay? And have the best rocking week ever. Bye, guys. I love you. Hi guys, how are you today? So if you picked pile three, vampire sex, what makes your person thirst for you? Wow, okay. So remember guys, this is an 18 plus reading, okay? So adults only. All right, so before we begin, if you can close your eyes and picture yourself surrounded by warm white lights and the reason why i asked of this is because i want to pick up on the highest vibrational energy between you and your person and the beautiful warm white light just 
provides a clear channel for me and it also protects your energy and my energy. Okay, so that way I can tap into the energy from the divine. Your reading will be done from the beautiful tarot deck, the Tarot of Vampires, that I just got this week and I didn't even know it existed and I am in love with it. Okay, guys. So, let's get started. You can open up your eyes and let's find out what makes your person thirst for you. Spirit Pile 3, what makes their person thirst for them? Oh, ten of Skulls. Wow. Okay. Ten of Skulls is the Ten of Pentacles. Um, what makes your person thirst for you? Let's talk about how incredibly abundant you are, how successful you probably are, how beautiful you are in and out, how self-assured you are, how giving you are, how you take care of people. You might be married to this person. You might be in a deep committed connection with them. Doesn't matter what kind of connection you are in, you are the person meaning you have everything and then some. You are so emotionally, spiritually, mentally, physically rich, okay? And I'm not talking about in terms of money. I'm talking about in terms of the way that you are, okay? When they met you, you just blew them away by your sense of style, the fact that you're just incredibly sophisticated, regardless if you're a man or a woman, and also by the fact that you just have an overall sense of self. I feel like you are a very, very strong achiever. You might be at the top of your game, whatever it is that you're doing. You might be an entrepreneur. It doesn't matter. This person is so incredibly attracted to how you are, the whole package. You are the package and then some, okay? You just do everything with ease. You do everything with elegance. And I feel that you are an amazing lover to this person. So they are really very, very much into your energy. Let's see what else. Here we have here the Eight of Swords. The Eight of Swords usually means constriction. But what this means, then Pyre Sex, is that your person is so thirsty for the fact that when you guys make love, I do feel you like to be tied down, okay? You might enjoy this person tying you down. You might enjoy this person just really being very dominating in regards to you. Even though you are a person that is dominating outside of the bedroom, and I'm not saying you're a nasty person, but you are in control. You probably are a boss, okay? Or you own your own company. You in the bedroom love to be submissive and that's what drives this person absolutely crazy what makes them thirst for you is the pure fact that you just allow them to take over you the fact that they've allowed you of all people to just do pretty much whatever they want to do to please you in a very desirable way let's see what else Oh, now we have the Queen of Skulls. Wow. You are, to this person, um, you are gorgeous. You might be an earth sign. You might be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Doesn't matter. But to your person, you are just, oh God, you are like, they're everything. I feel that you are just incredibly, incredibly sexy. So well put together. I do feel you wear amazing lingerie. If you're a woman, if you're a guy, 
you just still turn your person on as well. I also feel here too that you have a ridiculous wardrobe. So you are all about your fashion. You walk out with all these beautiful clothes. Everything about you says sexy and yet elegance. And they really, really, really are very, very intrigued by the way that you handle your life and that the way that you do things. I would not be surprised here if you are married to this person or in a deep commitment with this person because your person is seeing you as someone that is just queen-like. They put you on a pedestal. I feel like the times that you two do make love, it is incredibly sensual. Um, your person takes care of you. They really let you call the shots, even though in the bedroom, I feel you like them to take control, but they just want to do anything and everything to you to make you incredibly happy. They just want to please you in a very kind and a very doting way. And there's something about your energy that they just find very, very appealing. They like the fact that you are just very put together. They like the fact that you are just that person that, you know, when you walk around, especially when you walk outside, you just have a presence that demands respect. People respect you in your life. Your friends respect you. You know, your family has a lot of respect for you. You might be very well respected in your profession. And this is just such a turn on to this person. Okay. I do feel at night, the two of you have some really wild, crazy sex. Um, there's a mix between making love here. There's a mix between, um, actual little bit rougher sex. And there's also a mixture between some submissive and some dominating things as well. And your person really just is very, very, very much into this with you. And they love your energy. Let's see what else, Spirit. What drives this person crazy about you? What makes them thirsty? Wow, we have so many, so much earth here throughout this, all these piles. A lot of earth energy lately. A lot, a lot of earth energy. Four of pentacles, four of skulls. Another thing that drives this person completely crazy about you is the fact that they know that you are with them. They love the fact that you are together. They get so excited telling people, talking about you, um, doing things with you, showing you off. This is not a person that is afraid to tell people who you are. This is not a person that hides you from people. Everyone that knows your person knows that you are with them and that knows that the two of you are just like a team together. And your person loves that. They talk about you behind your back in such a positive way. They brag about how hot you are. They tell your friends that you are just like a little like sex fiend. They just really, really love having you as a person. And I know that this reading might sound a little like, you know, a little sensual, but this part of a relationship is important. We all experience this stuff while we're in a relationship and people just want to know what does their person truly, truly desire? What is it that they do that they drives them crazy? They just love the way that you take care of yourself. I think you might also be really physically fit as well. You might have a trainer Okay, so they like the fact that you work out a lot. Even if you work out at home, you might be a person that eats very well too. So I do feel that you are in very good shape here. Okay, you are a person that takes very, very good care of yourself. So they really, really like this energy from you a lot. And I'm sorry again about this glare again. Let's see what else is your person finds incredibly sexy about you. Okay, what else that they find incredibly sexy about you is the Ten of Swords. Now, if you see on this here, this girl has on insane lingerie. You wear insane lingerie. Insane. Insane. Like, you are top-notch, 
in the lingerie. Your body's beautiful. I think they are obsessed with your breasts as well, although they might not really um, tell you that. Actually, they probably do, but um, they are really much into this, okay? They just love your look. Ten of Swords tells me that whatever it is that um, that you do, that just like, the Ten of Swords really talks about like, an ending, but like a bad ending, okay? Or like a really, really hard ending, something that's painful. But what I think it's painful is the fact that this person never wants this to end, okay? They have a fear that one day you'll wake up and just think that they're like, not like the perfect person. This person has fears because they are really so much into you that they are afraid that they will lose you someday because guys, I think for this pile, you are really good catch. You are either out in the public eye. People know who you are. You are someone that's very well liked at your job. You just have it all together and your person just really puts you up on that pedestal. They just think you're incredibly courageous in what you do on a daily um basis and they just honestly to tell you the truth they're so afraid that one day you're going to look at them and just say well you know what um it's not going to work out they have a fear that you will leave them okay and that is the one thing i do see about this card as a shadow okay for this reading it's the first shadow I've seen in this reading, but that's because they're so incredibly into you and in love with you and desiring of you that they're afraid that they just don't want this to end. But on a lighter note, they do think that you wear absolutely crazy lingerie. They are very much into your body. They're very much into just the whole essence of you. I'm getting the name heavily Victoria here big time so if your name is victoria this reading is definitely for you let's see what else what else does this person find incredibly sexy here we go seven of wands seven of wands talks about a person that's a fighter in life that stands up for what they believe in and they love that. They love that no one gets anything over on you. You stand up for what's right. You defend people. You defend yourself. You defend anyone that is, um, you feel that needs your help. Okay. You are a very, very liberal person. Okay. You are a person that just stands up to the small guy. So even if you are an entrepreneur in your business or some sort of high ranking uh, corporate official, you still look at everyone from the bottom to the top is the same. And that's what this person loves about you. The fact that no one is different. Everyone is the same in your eyes. And they just really are very, very drawn to you. Okay, very, very drawn to that energy, how you might also help charities. You might be that person that does all these things okay and with that they just feel that the fight that you have for life the way that you fight for people that are less fortunate because i do feel you give a lot of your yourself to other people you might give some of your earnings away you might just help or volunteer they really find that to be incredibly sexy and that makes them thirst for you even more okay so now Let's pick out some cards here from this hot deck between the sheets. And let's find out what makes your person thirst for you. That's right. That you earned it. You are a hard, hard worker. You are a hard worker outside. You do your thing. And then when you come home, you are a hard worker, meaning that you know how to please your person. And they feel that between you being outside and you being at home, you are a force, a force, not a force, a force to be reckoned with. They are really, really attracted to you guys, okay? Like, incredibly attractive. Um, the thought of you just is like, uh, you know, 
they they go nuts when they think about you. I do feel that your person really just is thankful that you are in their life and they are just at they're amazed at the fact that how you chose them and they feel so lucky to be with you because you fulfill them on all levels all levels emotionally physically spiritually mentally you just are that beautiful person for them and they are just like amazed by this energy and they just want to make sure that it's always an energy that they can enjoy that's the only thing is that they get nervous because you're going you are so successful that they're afraid that someone might snatch you up okay so if this reading resonated with you please like share and subscribe if you'd like a personal reading the information will be in the description box below don't forget guys to hit the notification bell so you can be notified of when i go live and when i upload and i do a raffle every single week guys so for this week all you have to do like usual is just subscribe to my channel and comment down below now just for this reading, I am offering an extended of this in a personal, if you'd like that. Okay. And it's like, what does your person crave about you? This is a deep desire, personal reading. And if you want to try that, you can order that down below because it's not available normally in my personal readings. But I felt like having a personal reading like that would be a nice extension of this reading here today. Okay. If you want to take a look about what your person is thinking about you in a very sensual way, what are their sexual desires towards you. And in that reading, I can really go, you know, very deep into the energy. Okay. So I hope that you guys have a wonderful week. Please feel safe. Be at peace. Okay. Let's all one, let's all love one another and have the most rocking week ever. I love you guys. Bye. Hi guys. How are you? Okay, so if you chose this pile here, which is the lip bits, what makes your person thirst for you? Now, guys, this is an 18 plus reading, so adults only. Okay, so before I begin, if you can close your eyes and picture yourself surrounded by warm white light. And the reason why I ask of this is so that way I can pick up on the highest vibrational energy between you and your person. Okay. And it also protects your energy as well. And it also is a clear channel for me. Okay. All right. So whenever you're done, you can open up your eyes. And I'm going to get started on this absolutely gorgeous reading today. Now, remember, guys, this reading's general, so just take what resonates, leave the rest. This is a adult reading only, and I am really channeling for those that have been in an intimate connection with their person, okay? So, what makes your person thirst for you? Let's find out. So, Spirit for pile one what makes their person thirst for them okay so here we have an energy of the queen of swords which here in this deck is called the queen of knives what makes them thirsty for you is the fact that you are to the point you say it like it is. There is nothing that you hold back, okay? Your person is very much turned on by your transparency. They're turned on by the fact that you just speak your mind. And basically, if someone wants to know something, you will tell them the truth. And that's really, really um, an energy that your person finds incredibly sexy, Okay, I do say from time to time now I am picking up this energy. You could be a little bit of a, a little bitchy, but they like that about you. Okay, there's something about that little bit of bitchiness that they find to actually be very sexy. It's something about that the way that you speak, they like it, they feel it, they absolutely feel it. And the Queen of Swords talks all about a person who just is very 
very, very mental. So I just feel like you are, can be detached if you want to. You know really what to do in regards to your life and also in other connections. You're not going to be that sucker that's going to be crying your eyes out. Woe is me. That is not you. You are very self-assured. You know how to control your emotions. And you also know how to ask for what you want. And I find that your person really is very, very turned on by that energy in regards to you. Let's see what else. Okay, let's see. The Lord of Skulls. So this is the King of Pentacles. So your person is so, so turned on by the fact that you are in charge. I'm finding that throughout this reading, it's a very similar energy. There's a lot of Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy in this reading. A lot of self-assured people. So guys, kudos to you because you're in this collective. You're working on yourselves. I am loving this energy, guys, that your person is picking up from you. You're keeping your crowns on. And this person, what they truly, okay, desire about you, what makes them thirst for you, it's a fact that you have it together. You are very self-confident. You are very assured. You um, are very abundant. Doesn't always have to mean monetarily, but you are abundant in all ways in life, okay? You are a very committed person. You uh, really, really know how to go for what you want. You might be a business owner or you might be in a high level position, um, but regardless, you just have a good set um, just a good, you know, you have a good set on your shoulders. Like you know how to do things in life. You know how to, um, take care of yourself. And I do feel that you, as far as life has, have really achieved a lot of different things within your own life. Okay. You haven't been shy to educate yourself. You haven't been shy to work extra hours. You might be a workaholic. Okay. You might be someone that is very dedicated to whatever it is that you do. I am hearing the word lawyer. So you might be a lawyer. You might be um, a person that has a profession where you speak a lot. You might be a person that also does a lot of seminars. But regardless, this person loves this energy about you. It is incredibly sexy. It is magnetic. It makes them want you. And it honestly, truthfully really wants them to commit to you. So if you're not committed to this person, they definitely are feeling like, wow, I need to commit to this person because they think you're the total package, okay? There is a very, very similar, similar energy literally throughout this whole reading because a lot of these piles are saying the same thing kind of very much it's kind of the same way but just like maybe with a slightly different twist let's see what else your person finds incredibly sexy what makes them thirst for you okay the two of skulls what makes them thirst for you again more earth energy you are just a busy person. You are out living your life. You're out doing your thing. You're out running the, you know, your, your job. You're out, you know, taking care of your company, whatever it is. You're out just watching over things in your own house. You're out with your friends. You just have a very, very full, full life. Now, I know this woman is looking in a mirror. Okay, so another thing that your person finds incredibly sexy about you or makes them thirst about you is you're humble. You're very humble. No matter what you look like, and I do feel that you are a very beautiful person, we're all imperfect, perfect, you are humble. So even if you're the most beautiful person in the world, you will look in that mirror and you will accept yourself as the same as everyone else. You are just very self-assured but you don't speak with arrogance okay you're not egotistical okay you might be a little bitchy from time to time and they like that about you but overall you have a humble 
um, way about your living as far as like, you're not going to put people down. You're not going to talk about other people. Um, as far as the work environment, you're very collective with other people, even in the bedroom. Okay. I do feel that the two of you get very, very busy. The two of you have a very passionate, um, sexual connection. I feel the both of you take charge one night. You might take charge another night. Your person might take charge, but regardless, there's a lot of deep passion that is between the both of you. Okay. And it's just, it keeps on going back and forth. I don't feel either one of you let the other person completely dominate. You take turns on who dominates here in the bedroom. Okay. I'm sorry about the glare of this these cards all have a coating on them. So let's see what else makes your person thirsty for you. Okay, here we go. Daughter of Skulls. More earth energy. Wow, this earth is all throughout this reading today. Wow. Everyone here is a boss, an entrepreneur. It's insanity. But you know what? That's the kind of collective that we're working on. We're working on our lives. What else makes your person thirst for you is the fact that you give back to them. Okay. And also too, you have an incredible sense of style. Okay. And I do feel you have a great body on top of it. But again, you're humble. You don't like to flaunt to other people. Okay, what makes them thirsty for you as well is the fact that you're very giving. You like to give a lot of gifts. So I feel like in the bedroom, you are very giving. You reciprocate a lot of um, things back to them. You are not a selfish lover whatsoever. I do feel too that your person really loves the way that you think. You might be that ever, um, you might be the person that's always learning. You might either be in school or you might have um, achieved quite a few degrees, but you're just always learning something. Even if you have your PhD, there's still something else that you're doing. There's still something else that you're desiring to learn. There's still something else that you're thirsty to do within your life. I do feel the sky is not the limit for you. You go above and beyond the sky and this person really desires you in a very, very deep way because you have inspired this person to really make a jump start in their life. You might have, you might be this person that has helped them maybe start their own career. You might have helped your person start their own business by giving them some entrepreneurial ideas. But regardless, I just feel that in general, you have been very helpful for them as far as in the career sector. You guys might have also met while you're at work. Okay. Um, this might be a work relationship, not for all, but I do feel that the two of you do have quite a passionate love affair with one another. Okay, let's see what else your person thirsty for you. Wow, nine of skulls. I feel like this reading honestly is all tied into each other, you know, because honestly, this is a very similar energy for the whole entire reading. Nine of skulls says the same thing again that I've been saying in every pile. Your person loves your independence. Your person loves your go-getter attitude. They love how you take care of yourself. They love how you present yourself to others. You are a very classy person. I feel like quite a few of you might have your Venus and Virgos. You might be very sensual behind closed doors, but very, you know, properly like dressed in public or very like toned down in the way that you dress in public, but you have your shit together. You are the ruler of your life and you're very independent. They love that. They love the fact that you go out a lot. They love the fact that you have your own friends. You're not needy. You don't want them in that way. You want to have a person because you want to be able to just have a great experience. You're not needing to have anyone and they love that about you. They love that you have your own identity, that you have your own sense of self. And I do feel that you might be that person that wears 
some really there's something about some jewelry that you wear you might have a necklace that they very they really like maybe they purchased it for you um that's not for everyone it's just for some but you just have this beautiful sensual side to yourself that is very very intriguing and really turns this person on like the fact that you were just not available all the time. You are out doing your own thing. Even if the two of you are married, you have your own separate life. You are ruling your own work. You are just out there. And they love the fact that you are your own independent person. Everyone here in this whole entire reading and every pile, everyone here is independent working on themselves and I love that because it tells me that people in my collective are really healing themselves they really are going after what they want and that just makes me so happy here let's see what else Okay, 10 of wands. So what else makes them incredibly, incredibly uh, sexy in regards to you? What makes, what's turning them on? The 10 of wands, you actually are quite a sex uh, god or goddess. I think you overwhelm them in the love department. I think you give them a run for their money. You really get them going, okay? You are a person that has a very, very high sex drive. And I feel that this person really admires that about you, okay? They really like the fact that you are pretty much just out there. You know what I mean? When you're with them in an, in a secret way um and you two of you are alone you just drive them wild okay you might be humble you might be very giving but you are a very sensual person i'm also seeing some fire sign energy here as well beautiful sensual sexual person and I feel like with you they just cannot get enough I also feel like too they might be really drawn to your back okay and you might also wear really nice thongs that showcase your butt in a really good way that makes them look at you like wow okay now if you're a guy you are your person is very much into your physique, especially your back. And they just like your boxers. They like the way you wear them. They just maybe like the way they fit. But if you are a girl, yeah, they really love that. That butt of yours like f turns this person on. And you might be a redhead. You might have beautiful long red hair or you don't have to have red hair, but I feel for some of you, there's red hair here, okay? Really beautiful red wavy hair. And they are just very, very much into what, um, what you look like and how you please them and what you do for them. They just really like this energy. It's just very powerful for them your sexual presence is extremely strong extremely strong okay so now i want to go into this deck here and it's called between the sheets and now let's get another energy let's get a really nice sexual energy from this person let's see what else yeah, you are just like a sex goddess or a god. And they just cannot get enough of your sexual energy. And that also makes them thirst for you because they're thinking about all the things that you guys do. Let's see what else. Spirit. Obedient. Submissive. Okay. 
So there are days that you take charge, but let me tell you, your person really desires when they um, are able to really control you, okay? It's a challenge to control you completely, and I think that's why the two of you go back and forth on who's in charge tonight. And I think the reason why is pretty much because the fact that you love sex, you like to please your partner, but they just want to throw you down that bed and just really take control. Okay. And then we have another energy here. I want to lick you up and down. So yes, your person desires you. They love that body. They love the way you dress. They love your lingerie. They love your hair. They love your skin. They just love your essence. Okay. And they love the fact that you're so humble. You sometimes might put yourself down and they just think like, why? Why? Remember, guys, we're all imperfect, perfect. Doesn't matter what size, shape, body we have. We're all desirable. We're all capable of being incredibly sexy to our partners, okay? So this is what makes your person thirst for you. Okay, so if this reading resonated with you, please comment down below, like, share, and subscribe. If you would like a personal reading, the information will be in the description box below. Don't forget, guys, to hit the notification bell so when I go live or when I upload, you'll be notified about that. And as well with my raffle, I do a raffle every week. So for this particular week, I'm going to do two winners, okay? I pick out the winners at the end of the following week because I go through all the comments, guys, for the whole entire week. All you have to do is just comment and um, subscribe to the channel. Now, I decided because I don't offer a sexual reading, like a, like a desire reading in my personals, I do offer one, how does he or she feel about you sexually, but this is going to go even into a little bit more detail. So if you're interested in what does your person crave about you, deep desires reading, that will be pretty much a compliment to this. That information will also be down below. Okay, guys, thank you so much for your love and support. Please, guys, be safe, feel love. Let's bring peace to this world, okay? Let's all come together, bring peace, love one another, and truly, guys, have the best rockin' week ever. I love each and every one of you. Bye.